Hey y'all, so I'm back. I'm taking a break from studying because I need to take breaks. I can't just be going, you know, hours straight studying. But um, on my break, I just, um, something came to mind and it's always been something that I always wanted to discuss. And it's something that is definitely relevant and has always been relevant. And it, it definitely still goes on and not so many people talk about it, but you know that's why I'm here to address it. And that topic is, um, well the question is, do black men or men in general, not just black men, but do men treat women of a lighter skin tone better than darker skin women? It's just all, you know, just comments I've been hearing throughout my life about the perfect woman or the ideal perfect woman to a lot of men. Um, I've heard men say things like, there's nothing better than a white woman with a black girl's body or I don't like dark skinned women. Um, you know i just like for a, a woman to be lighter skinned because i love to see you know the colors contrast or you know the different colors while we have sex i, I heard it all so the reason why i'm coming today is because i definitely think this is something that affects um everybody and the way women view themselves not all, not all women, but some women. I think it had. I think it plays a part of some women's self-esteem and um, self-worth and value. And I also think it's something that, um, you know, it's kind of a brainwash, brainwashing, um, slave mentality, if you will, um, messed up mentality. I like to call it, and. Um, I'm not talking about anybody in particular because I'm sure I'm gonna get you know some oh she's talking about some no I'm here I've I'm talking about everybody who I've heard say things like this and I've also seen uh, men treat women of a lighter skin tone better or they put women on a higher pedestal because they are light skinned or have long hair or have lighter eyes or whatnot and Here's my problem with that. My problem with that is it's not that you like light-skinned women. It's not that you prefer light-skinned women. We all have preferences. By all means, continue seeing these women. Continue whatever. That's not the issue. The issue is putting other women on pedestals or treating women better of a certain image than you do other women. That's the problem. And please, let's not act like that doesn't happen because it happens. And it happens a lot. Um, it's on TV. It's music videos. It's, you know, it's very seldom you see a darker skinned woman play the love interest in a music video. It's very seldom you see the main character on a black sitcom or any sitcom of a darker skin tone. I mean, it's something that's very, it happens. Let's just say it. And, um, you know, to a black person, I'm not what you would consider to be a dark skinned person, but I'm sure probably to a white person, I'm considered to be dark skinned. But that doesn't matter to me because obviously it's people darker than me who I think are discriminated against, you know, and I know they are discriminated against. Okay. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a few examples. Um, It's my belief that certain women can get away with a lot more of a lighter skin tone. This is this, this not just white women. This could be um, biracial women, you know, half black, half white, um, Latino, Latina, however you want to say it, Chaldean, or whatever, um, Arabic. It's my belief that 
a lot of men tend to, um, like I said earlier, treat women who look like this better. But also let women of though of that type of image get away with a lot more. For instance, she could be big as a house, you know, but someone of a darker skin tone has to be like in tip top shape or, you know, stacked brick house and and, you know, just just look extra nice if she's dark skin. But if she's light skin, it's like long as she light, you know, it is she good, you know. That's the problem. And it's definitely I think a form of slave mentality, whether people realize it or not, is definitely a form of self hatred. It's a form of uh, discrimination. It's a form. It's a form of, of course, ass kissing. You know, let's just say it. And it's it's something that it's one of the reasons I I think black people in general, not all of us, but black people in general, don't have unity per se. And that's and, and let me on the flip side, let me just say I do think it's some black women or women who treat a lighter skin tone of men maybe better than darker skin. You know what I mean? And that's effed up as well. That's you know, that's not good. And a lot of people don't realize it when they do it or they say, Oh, I don't do that or but you hear these little comments come out their mouths and how, you know, I, I've heard that um, people of a lighter skin tone might be better in bed, in the bedroom, you know, as far as oral performance or whatever. My thing is, it's wrong to just mistreat somebody based on their skin tone, especially if this is your race. It's wrong anyway. Let me just say that. It's wrong, period. Okay, and it's real messed up. But I just wanted to talk about that. And I just wanted to ask people, you know, like, have you know, I'm sure a lot of people have noticed that. But, you know, how did that make you feel? And if you are someone who's light-skinned, light-skinned woman or man, how, how does that make you feel? How does that, what do you think about a person saying those kind of things? Or um, talking down on their own race or a similar color to them? just because they're dating you or just because they're sleeping with you. I mean, what's your take on that? You know, because I know I don't like it, you know, so I just kind of wanted to get other people's, you know, viewpoints of, of it, but it's definitely something that's relevant and it's definitely something that happens. You know what I mean? So I don't, a lot of people might try to say, Oh, that's not true. Oh, it's true. So <laughs> I just wanted to come by and talk about that. And I also wanted to ask like, Why do you think that is so? You know what I mean? Like, why do you think? I mean, is that to say that just because you see a particular type of image in the media or on television or wherever, that that's supposed to be the correct image or that's supposed to be the the um, the image that is better than any other image? Like, what is that about? You know? And do you find yourself letting someone of a lighter skin tone get away with a lot more or something that you wouldn't let someone of a darker skin tone get away with? You know what I mean? It, I just think, you know, I think a lot of us are guilty of it, including myself, and I may not have known it, you know, but it's definitely something I make sure I, you know, every chance I get, I make sure it doesn't happen with me, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to, you know, just because I like someone so doesn't mean I have to dog out another type of guy or just because whatever the case it's okay if you like somebody that's not what I'm saying it's okay if you like somebody of whatever race I like white men and also like black men but I just think you know that that whole discrimination thing that whole you know dogging out your own race or your own uh, skin tone or whatever the case because self-hatred issues or you know someone of a lighter skin tone may have pretty eyes or you want pretty babies in the future whatever the case I just think it's all foolishness and it's wrong and it's it's something that definitely needs to be addressed and it I think it's something that really needs to be looked into because you know heaven forbid you are like this and you let this lighter skin person get away with a lot more and before you know it you probably in the whole 
new world of trouble because, you know, you discriminate. You let people of a certain skin tone get away and disrespect you or just disrespect other people or people you may know or family or friends just because of how they look. So I just wanted to really talk about that and, um, you know, kind of put that out there. But, um, yeah, let, the usual, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, and, um, yeah, I hope to hear you guys, you guys' opinions and viewpoints about that because this is definitely something I've always been noticing. I just wanted to um, see if you guys have been noticing as well and let me know. All right, thanks, bye.